the art of kissing. Mind you, it is an art, yeah, it's an not act. just an act. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the A R T rather. A R T is okay. an art, not the A C T. Nah. Okay, Sly. I mean, in these times, we know we are we are blacks, we are Africans. Sure. Would you kiss your partner in public? Um, this is not my first time. I've been doing that. Always. So, like, you go in to sit um, in a bar and then you do oh, it? Oh, not like always. Okay. But I would say it's not something new that mm -hmm. I would say, okay, today I'm doing this for the first time. No. It's something I've done before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, would you encourage people to do it despite what our culture says? Um, see, uh, more of the times, uh, certain mm -hmm. things you don't need to say that this is our culture, this is not about our culture. You know, love is love. Okay, and there are certain things that are part of love. Uh, occasionally, if um, I meet my loved one, and it's a, whether it's a restaurant, um, wherever it is, I, I shouldn't feel shy to at least kiss her. It's, it's, for me, it's normal. You shouldn't be scared of kissing your partner in public. It, it should, it, it's, it's normal. Mm. Yeah. It's a normal thing we should do every yeah, day. Yeah, you should. Okay, thank you very much. Andy. You know, health-wise, let's come back. Let's shift from the romantic aspect of it, the mm -hmm. emotional aspect of it. Now, let's come to the health. Yeah. Taking a look at um, what our health tells us or what our health is supposed to be, it is said that kissing or kiss has a role it plays in our health. Can you tell us a, a, a thing or two that it adds to our health as humans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been established, I mean, scientifically, mm -hmm. that kissing goes a long way to the advantage of our health. Okay. We gain a lot more mm -hmm. health-wise from kissing. Kissing, do you know kissing reduces stress? Yes. It reduces anxiety. Mm -hmm. It causes um, the flow of that chemical. The doctors will better know it. Is, mm -hmm. I think it's called... Uh, dopamine or oxytomine or something. Dopamine. Yeah. It, it, it releases that chemical in you, that feel-good factor. Okay. All right? And when that feel-good factor, that chemical is released in you, it, says, it, it gives you pleasure. It releases those chemicals for you to feel good about yourself. Kissing actually, scientifically proven, mm -hmm. helps in cramps. For the girls, mm -hmm. ladies, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> the know, girls or ladies, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yes. It's this monthly flow. flow. Mm -hmm. Some have serious crumbs and they can't stand it. It's been established that kissing helps. So health-wise, kissing has a lot of other advantages. Nah. Great, interesting. Sly. Mm -hmm. uh, aside the crumbs, aside releasing stress, I also made mention of the fact that it reduces the. The, it releases or it relieves the muscle on the yeah. facial area, especially in women. Yeah. What would you add to that? A lot. Actually, me myself, I'll mm -hmm. add something to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Imagine like after a whole day work, at least you okay. stress and everything. You know, the moment you go home, you meet your wife, you know, she embraces you, at least give you a, a nice hug, you know, mm -hmm. at least a kiss. Instantly, you just forget everything. At mm -hmm. least you realize, like, ha, ah, what a world I'm in now. You mm -hmm. see, at once you realize, like, you're in a comfortable zone. So, to me, I think it's, it's really good and it's very nice, you know, if you're practicing cases. I think it's, it's good. Aside everything, I would say normally yourself, your health wise, it boosts your health. Because mm -hmm. if um, your, your mind is very calm, you realize that you yourself, you're okay. So all the stress, the whole day work and everything, you realize that when you come home, you just feel okay. You feel all right. So to me, I always advise that it's good. And it shouldn't be like, it should be this before you kiss or it should be that. Okay. Any time you just have the opportunity, that's why you should love. You know, kissing is part of love. Whether it can be your kid, it can be your wife, it can be your family, then you just show them the love. <laughs> Interesting. And you, you know, yeah. Most women do not like the art itself. You made mention that it's not an act, but it's an art. So most women do not like that. How do you push your man or your woman? I'm not, I'm not saying the 
the rigorous pushing, but I mean, in a gentle way, how do you initiate that person into loving that art? Into loving the art of kissing? Of kissing, yes. Well, there, 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 there is a way to go about it. Okay. There's a way to go about the art of kissing. Now, you just don't up and then be all over the place with your lips <laughs> and go kissing. Okay. Yes. Okay. You, th th there's a way to go about it. Mm -hmm. First, first and foremost, you mm -hmm. need to have the consent. If, as you mean, it's, it's, it's not your wife. If it's, if it's your wife, even then, you would have to, you know, set a preparatory stage. Okay. All right. Get her in the mood, mm -hmm. or surprise her with it. Okay. With a kiss. Mm -hmm. All right. You come in from work. She's in the kitchen or in the hall, awaiting you. Mm -hmm. You just plant a forehead kiss. Hi, babe. You know, you 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 get a welcome. Mm -hmm. Now she's in the kitchen, kiss, cooking or fixing something for you. Mm -hmm. You just walk in, hug her from behind, plant a kiss on her neck or on her cheek from behind or on her earlobe. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 a sign of intimacy. All right. So, first of there's a preparatory stage. Okay. And then, for the first kisses, it's generally a little bit harder. All okay. right. The one you you need the consent of the person. You feel a bit shy. Exactly. The person will feel a bit shy, but you need the consent of the person first and foremost. The person you're intending to kiss. Okay. Assuming you're on a Is date. Is it that when you when you've met for the very first time? Yes. Not when you've met for the first time. Your first kiss. Okay. You have this guy you're going out with, but you haven't kissed yet. Mm -hmm. So you intend to kiss him either on a date or at a particular occasion. Okay. You need to tell, you need to read his body language, his or her body language, to tell that he, he is in the mood to be kissed. So that you need to gauge. Okay. That nobody can teach you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a sign that you, you have to relate the way you relate with a person, that will tell you. That so no one can teach the other person how to kiss? You can. Okay. The act itself can be taught. taught. Okay. On a gradual basis. The act itself can mm -hmm. be taught. But the preparatory stage, setting the mood. Okay. You need to have... Which one is the preparatory stage? I, I want to get something right. The preparatory stage, basically. You need to get your acts right. If you've planned for a certain setting... The ambience has to be great. Dim lights, some candlelight, mm -hmm. soft music. The background. Are, exactly. They are all preparatory stages to having a wonderful first kiss. If you are married and you want to spice up your marriage, you can do all of that. But the first kiss, you invariably will need those things to stir the stage. Or it could be at a party. Mm -hmm. At an event, you're there, some cool, slow music is playing. Okay. You draw your partner close. And mind you, kissing is not all about the lips going haywire all over. <laughs> okay. So it's not about me claiming your lower lip. It's not about you claiming my upper lip? No. Okay. There, there's a before that claiming the lower lip. So what comes before? The before. Is the preparatory stage okay of knowing that your partner is ready it's ready knowing that he or she is going to accept the kiss that you're bringing on mm -hmm. that is the preparatory stage and mind you too you need to take care of your gums you need to take care of <laughs> good you need to have a good breath great mm -hmm. it's all part of the preparatory stage if you mm -hmm. go kissing with bad breath i tell you mm -hmm. it's, it's going to backfire Okay. It won't work. It will be a turn off for the other person. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Sly, mm -hmm. you know what? Yeah, yes, I... Kissing kissing your partner is, yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. It gives us so many things that in fact both of us would end up benefiting from. Sure. But we ask ourselves, when is the right time for you to say that look, I want to kiss your part my partner? Would you just get, wake up in the morning and decide that you want to kiss your partner? Um, or it, something triggers it? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, you wait till 
a particular time. You can mm -hmm. wake up in the morning and then you kiss her. Good morning. Okay. When you are going to work, mm -hmm. you kiss her on the forehead. Oh, take care. Let me go and come. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's not about only your partner. As I said, you can have a child too. Mm -hmm. At, At home. Least. Yeah, you have a child. When mm -hmm. you're leaving home, you can kiss your child. Baby, come, come to daddy. You just hug him. You kiss him. Okay, let me go and come. It's it's all part of it. So it's not like you should have a particular time or a particular set before you kiss. It's always good like whenever you are leaving because you need to have this communication. You know, relationships about communication. Yeah, so okay. always, as my senior colleague said, like it's all about setting up. Mm -hmm. So uh, always you have to also see. Like, it's not like you just wake up now, you just go and kiss it. No, at least you wake up, you take your, at least you brush your teeth, mm -hmm. at least you just... Take your big gums, exactly. as I said. Good. Then at least you kiss it. You know, uh, I didn't add this to. I wanted to add something. Okay. Do you know Go that um, kissing too also um, helps in your sex drive? Like during sex. Yeah. When you kisses too, at least it really, really helps a lot. It keeps the, well, the serene, like the romantic, and everything goes to right. If things are not going the right, the right way, mm -hmm. to turns around. So it's always good. Like always. You have to look at it, uh, how to go, as you said, like, you have to set everything up. You have to know when to kiss. At least, you know, we have on and off too. When it's not ready, you should, you should know your lady to at least, uh, when she's ready and when she's not ready. Because nobody likes, and it's not everybody who likes kissing. So if you meet somebody who doesn't like kissing, and mm -hmm. every day it's like, you want to kiss, you want to kiss, that means you're turning the person off from you. So you have to also mm -hmm. know your partner well. So what if you are the type who always wants to kiss and then your partner doesn't like it? What happens? Uh, what happens is you have to, uh, that's why the, this love is there. You don't need to, I like this, so you should know. You should force yourself. So at least you need to comport yourself, at least you know what she likes and what she doesn't like. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like kissing, I keep on kissing you, kissing you, then I'm telling you off from the relationship. Aha. Uh -huh. So even if it's once in a while, it's, it's okay. She will take it like that, but it shouldn't be consistent. Uh -huh. <laughs> but if she likes and also likes, then you're good to go. Okay. Now, um, let's come back to the types of cases. We'll just list a few because of time. Today, we'll be having a show for just an hour, and then um, we'll end at exactly 10 o'clock p.m. So, Andy, yeah. um, the royal hand kiss, that is, um, you meet someone mm -hmm. who is probably an acquaintance or a family friend or family member. Just um, go through the handshake and then you pick the lady's hand or the gentleman's hand and then you kiss the um, back of the hand. Does it really say or does it really um, an intimate relationship idea into the other person's uh, mind? Now, now, before I take that, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sly made mention of some health benefits of yes. kissing. Um, for the benefit of our viewers, okay. for the benefit of those who are shying away from kissing, I would like to tablate the list of the health benefits that you can get when you kiss often. Okay. Now, it, it, it's many, so I can't put it on. So i like to read them out for our viewers. That's fine. Now, it releases your happy hormones. Mm -hmm. It helps in bonding with your partner. It helps in your self-esteem. Okay. It reduces stress, anxiety. It helps in blood pressure. Mm. It helps in lowering your blood pressure. pressure. Kissing. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> it, Interesting. it also helps in cramps. Yes. Headaches. Mm -hmm. It boosts your immune system. It helps with allergies. It helps bring down cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It helps with your cavities. It cleans your cavities, actually. Mm -hmm. Kissing okay. actually cleans your cavities. It helps in compatibility with your partner. Okay. Because you, you, you are Sense that... bonding? Yes. You are you're that I vulnerable mean. when you are lip to lip. Mm -hmm. So it boosts your compatibility with your partner. Okay. Now, Sly just mentioned it. <laughs> it builds your libido. Oh, okay. The libido. <laughs> pushes you into that. Yes, it pushes that. you. It's, it's a form of arousal. Mm -hmm. So it's equally good in foreplay? Oh, yes. Very good. I can't imagine a foreplay without, without kissing. Kiss. 
it's it's highly unimaginable it cannot happen okay so it builds your libido it tones your muscle okay the facial muscles yeah it, especially the women yeah it I'm, tones I'm going it. for that for us <laughs> <laughs> you should you should oh yes i i actually read about uh, i read that side almost about three to four times i just wanted to imagine how it it was going to be like i mean in, in terms of you are so stressed you know you're tired you're not smiling but when you get home and then your boyfriend or your husband tries to peg you even a peg releases it it brings it down yeah yeah <laughs> that's, that's good true. that's true yeah that's good those muscles according to research from between two to 34 mm -hmm. of your facial muscles yeah. are at work yeah. when you kiss and the blood flows exactly yeah. It opens up the blood vessels, mm -hmm. so blood flows, and it's a workout. Like we said, it's a workout. So those I'll who do not want to do the <laughs> exercise, you can try this one. It would work. And then there's the final takeaway from takeaway. the kiss that okay. feel good. Before I we am... come to the last one, mm -hmm. it's good for the heart. It pumps yeah. blood. It, I mean, the moment you see when you are, if you have um, met someone or you've kissed someone before, realize that when you start kissing, you you feel this. That there's something that just comes out of you. So I mean, it helps the heart. Especially when all. you meet the uh, the person for the first time. Yeah, you've been talking on <laughs> phone, blind dates, then you meet the person. Ah. Serious. No one to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> sweet no one to imagine. The sweet feeling, yes. I think one of these days we need to treat a um, blind date. <laughs> that when we nice. meet the person, you mm -hmm. know how to, you mm -hmm. know, act. Mm -hmm. now, so I was talking about the, yeah. the hand kiss. The hand kiss is the most formal of all kisses. Okay. The hand kiss. Mm -hmm. it, it, it shows respect mm -hmm. and admiration for the person that you meet. It's usually given So you didn't take it the wrong way? No, not at all, not at all. That is, that, like I said, is the most formal of all the cases that there is. Mm -hmm. If I meet you now for the first time, I'm introduced to you, I take your hand and I kiss the back of it. It means I am appreciating you. I am respecting you as a person. I have a joy in me of meeting you. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't take it the wrong way at all. It's a form of greeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What What about the forehead? Sly, let me come back to you again. The <laughs> forehead. In fact, um, I have realized I I was talking to a group of people just okay. this week about the same topic, mm -hmm. and then the first lady I spoke to said, "Now, nah, media, I like the forehead. Though. <laughs> <laughs> when you do it for me, I am so done." Okay. I don't know about other people. I don't know about other ladies. Okay. But I, I mean, I, I feel that ladies are really interested in the forehead case yeah. than any other one. Yeah. You see, the forehead is not really um, intimately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it also shows like kind of respect for the person too. Okay. You know, when it goes to the lips, that's where it comes to actually. But when it mm -hmm. goes to the forehead. It doesn't really mean. It, yeah. You can kiss your kids' foreheads. Mm -hmm. At least your... Even your wife, mm -hmm. your wife's sister, you can kiss their forehead. It doesn't really mean okay. any sexual. No, it's, it, it's, it's not going to. No, 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 no. It's non sexual. Okay. Okay. So kissing the forehead, it's it's okay. Just a friend, you can kiss the forehead, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Hey, uh, it won't bring any problem. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> because I know I know a lady will be standing behind and then seeing the man kiss someone else's forehead. Hey, I said more. Oh, no. but 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 let's... it is the interpretation. Exactly. Okay. It is the interpretation, all right? Of it. Yes, it's the interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what's going to bring the problem or not. Okay. Like I said, you can kiss your kid's forehead. Exactly. Okay. It, that forehead kiss mm -hmm. is a sign of assurance, of comfort. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. You can give it to your partner. You can give it... It can be sensual. It can be sexual. Okay. Like when you wake up in the morning with your wife in bed. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, good morning. How are you doing? But How that is after you, you, you brush, right? No. <laughs> Hell no. Not after <laughs> you brush. No, 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 no. The first thing you do after the you brush. The first thing you do when your <laughs> eyes flutter open. This, this, this her forehead, okay. not on the left. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You okay. kiss her on the forehead, ask her, did you sleep well? You know, chit chat for a while before you get out of bed. You just, uh, you, you just don't wake up and bram. 
you're out of bed running for a busy schedule oh, or but something. Probably you are late. You're late for work. And so you need to rush off. Now, how many minutes would it take for you to kiss your wife's forehead, ask her if she slept well? It wouldn't take you more than 30 seconds. Good. Okay. So we need to do it. You see, it will take you, it will take you a, a minute or no, no, no. So please, when you wake up in the morning, first things first, don't even get up. Don't even put, uh, place your legs or, or your feet on the floor. Make sure that you do it before you place your feet on the floor. I mean, it helps. It really, really helps. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It does. And the it ladies does. love it. Oh, and the ladies love yes. it. Yes. As, as my friend said. Media, if you do that for me, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still mimicking whatever she said. I'm yeah. done. I was just imagining if I, if I, I should see her face to face, and then she's saying that to me. I'm just imagining the gestures that yeah. would go around it. <laughs> Anyways, the air kiss. You meet someone. You see, sometimes you are sitting in the bus, and then you meet your, your crush be somewhere. And you wave the crash and then you blow a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> someone may take it the wrong way. Someone may take it the right way. But is it really good? I, I don't think there is any form of um, connection in that air kiss. Is there? Andy? No, really. It's not, not really. Not really. The air kiss is it's also it's a formal kiss. Or it's a distance kiss. All right. Mm -hmm. There are two types of the air kiss. Okay. The ones that you ladies do when you are, you know, when you are all made up and you meet your colleague or you meet a guy and you are like, you go by the cheek and you bl you just make the sound of the kiss, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. into the air okay. without actually touching. Okay. That is one form of air kiss. Air kiss. Mm -hmm. That is formal because you don't want to mess up your makeup or anything like that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, the other, the blow kiss. It's when the person is a little bit far from you, like you said, mm -hmm. on a bus, you meet the person. It's a form of greeting. Hey, hi. You cannot shout your greetings across. Across. All right. There are people in the bus. So you just wave, put you your hand see to you your like lips. from the other side. Yes. Put your hand to your lips and then blow it to the person. But, but there's no intimacy or sexual thing attached to it. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not at all. Not so at you also all. agree to that? I agree to that. This is just social, social greetings. It so can I can be, just blow a kiss to anyone. Oh, the, and it's it fine. Can be, it can be just goodbye, something. Just greeting or something. It yeah. Something. And now it's where mm -hmm. the kiss is received to, that may cause a problem. Someone is asking that um, mm -hmm. we tell her how to kiss. Mm -hmm. So Andy, I'm starting with you. We should tell her how to kiss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> How to kiss? <laughs> now, like I said, uh, a, a guy or a lady? Mm -hmm. A guy. A, sorry, a lady. Sorry. A lady. Okay. Now, uh, with ladies, mm -hmm. I said it in the beginning. You need to prepare to okay. kiss, mm -hmm. but don't plan everything. You shouldn't plan the way prepare, you prepare, but don't don't plan. Yeah, prepare. How can you prepare without planning? Okay. You, you, it's got to be spontaneous. A little bit of it has to be spontaneous. Okay. You have to prepare to kiss the guy you're intending to kiss. Sure. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, get your good breath. Get exactly. the atmosphere. Yeah. Get the right place. Okay. Set the mood. Mm -hmm. And then you can kiss. Now, on the act itself, when you start off, you shouldn't go all sleepy. Blah, 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 blah. Don't go throwing your tongue all over, ladies. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take your time. You start off. That is after all these preparations and everything has gone on. And you're certain that you want to kiss everything the guy. Set. Yes. Take your time. Start with small lip-to-lip -lip contact. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Start off from there. You can graduate slowly onto nibbling of mm -hmm. the lips. Mm -hmm. Taking that's where your taking the lower lip will come in. Mm -hmm. And then she would also yes, she would also take lip. the upper lip, yeah. vice versa. You start slowly, mm -hmm. and then when you want for the ladies, mm -hmm. after you've initiated the kiss and you're onto it, you've gone beyond the. Nibbling. Now, 
you need to let the man take a little bit of control. After taking the step, unless you want to dominate. Last week, yes, last week we were talking about sex. And mm. you said we can, you love it when women try to take over. Mm -hmm. And so I think it should be the same as kissing. Yes. Sex is different from kissing. But it's, it's all part of the Yeah. It, it, kissing can lead to sex. Okay. You know, kissing can make or break a relationship. Now, mm -hmm. I tell you, these small acts, but complicated one, can make or break a relationship, especially the teething relationships. Okay. All right? If you're not yet into the guy, you're dating. Your first kiss can either make or break the relationship. That's true. So. Okay, it, uh, uh, Andrew, stay mm -hmm. on your word. Um, stay on, uh, just keep it in mind when, wherever you are. All right. Sly, yeah. would you try to break off a relationship if the kiss is not good? Well, I wouldn't, but rather how educate her, I'll try and educate her on that. The thing is, uh, some are very bad in kissing. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So, bad in what sense? How? Uh, you see, kissing, you shouldn't be in a rush. You should, okay. as my senior said, at least you as a lady, you have to relax. Okay. okay. It's, it's like communicating. Okay. When you're communicating with somebody, you shouldn't be always be in control. You have to relax and receive. If you see how it's going, already you yourself, you prepare yourself already for it. Mm -hmm. So how is going? You realize that I need to push harder, or I should relax. Okay. Not all of us will like more kiss. Somebody can kiss for more than thirty minutes. Yeah, some do. Some too. At least one minute, she's tired or he's tired. Mm -hmm. So you have to also take your time and see your partner response. Mm -hmm. If your partner is going further, you also go further. Mm -hmm. If you say realize no, he's not going more, and you're pushing harder, that means you are you are rather letting the thing from from love get to a different level okay so it means that you need to um pick another spot and then start kissing or you need to end it all um when you realize it's not going the way you want it, you have to end it not you end it but at least you just relax the partner itself will end it for you yeah but when you realize okay you are going back but he's also he's also coming for it that mm -hmm. means he needs more okay so you need to exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay are you saying something <laughs> yes okay like Sly was saying, you need, you need to be able to read your partner. Good. You need to be able to ascertain whether he's enjoying what mm -hmm. you're doing or not. Yeah. Now, if the person draws back a little, that doesn't mean you should stop kissing. It probably means he's not enjoying the very thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So the person draws back, relax, take a breath. The person will come on with what exactly he or she wants and then you go with the flow you don't have to be rigid you need to be flexible mm. to accept you know when you're kissing somebody mm -hmm. and the person changes either position or style yeah. it's a form of communication so when you're kissing the lip and the person turns the neck mm. it tells you a different thing yes okay it probably means i want to go a step further mm -hmm. all right but that will be when you've actually kissed and there has not been any drawback mm -hmm. or any negative reaction now you've kissed you've kissed the lip you've gone a little bit further to introduce the tongue okay the person has accepted it reciprocated the tongue by giving you his or hers okay and she goes like out of the case raises the head and turns the neck now that's an open invitation a sweet 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 open invitation <laughs> this one is without invite <laughs> <laughs> okay so soon our phone line to be open it will be rolling under your television set do want to call us and when you call please lower the volume of your television set um, I don't want to hear myself, but I hear myself, it gives me a bad feedback and it's no good for us. So please, when you call, do well to lower the volume of a TV set. And on WhatsApp, 0509257753. And we don't want to mention your name, it's fine. Sly, why do people kiss and bite? I don't know if you've realized this, but most 
partners do that? Yeah, um, at times it's just by mistake. At okay. times too, they intend to do that. It's not a bad thing, but make sure that it doesn't get to your wrong partner. Because okay. um, when, when it's on a, a wrong And if partner, you're a light skin, it gives you high kiss. <laughs> You so, move out and people know that, oh, okay, this is what you did. <laughs> exactly. So you have to always see, you see, everything we are doing or everything we are educating or at the end of the day, we are looking at what people like mm -hmm. and what they, will, they intend to learn to do. So if you are doing something and at the end of the day, you realize your partner is not enjoying what you are doing, you need to stop it. So if you are kissing, mistakenly, you, you, hurt, you, you buy the person. Mm -hmm. At times, people bite and blood even comes out. At times, too, you just mistake a small bite. At least when it's just a small bite, it's just a normal. Because I don't see if there's any wrong, because it's just, you know, through that, you're able to bite it. It's, it's okay. But it shouldn't be a continuous thing every day thing. Maybe mm. once in a while, it's okay. She will just accept it. <laughs> but when it comes every day thing, that means probably the guy has... <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And this one, it says, I want to know if maybe it's a first date um, um, crush and your partner has a bad mouth at all. How can you tell the person with such symptoms? Um, halitosis. How do, you, how do you tell the partner about it? If it's a first date? Yes, if it's a first date. Well, <laughs> that, that, that is a difficult one. Yeah. Now, but but one way or the other, you should find ways of telling. Of course, that of course, of course, of course. That's if it you intend to go on with the relationship. Mm -hmm. Beyond the halitosis, the person is a nice guy. He's caring. Mm -hmm. You love him. Mm -hmm. Halitosis shouldn't be in the way of love. It shouldn't okay. block what you feel for the person. Okay. It can be a turn off, though. But if you want to address it now. Before um, you kiss, you, I have yeah. a first color. Oh, right. we have a first color. Hi, right. good evening. Hello. 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 Yes, hello. Good evening. Your name and where you calling from? Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Your name and where you calling from? Yeah, I'm this morning calling from Bogoso. Okay. Thanks for calling. Which one? Share with us quickly. Yeah, um, I want to ask them, um, why do most of ladies don't like kissing? Okay. That's my question. That's the question I want to ask. All right. We do want to answer that for you. Okay. My regards to, um, that's right. That's my boss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Oh. Um, I do want to call us again. The number is the numbers are rolling under your television set. When you call, you are the volume of your TV set. Hi, good evening. Hello. Um, I can actually hear myself. Please, when you call, do well to lower the volume of your TV set. <laughs> okay, so Adi, you heard our first caller. Mm -hmm. Women do not like kissing. Well, most women do not like kissing. Mm -hmm. Or that's the perception. That's the perception. I know ladies that really go out all out to kiss. Okay. Now, with a woman who do not like kissing, it's probably because they've had a bad experience before, mm. before, and they didn't like it. Or the ladies themselves do not know how to go about kissing. All right. Remember that kissing is not for a guy only to kiss a girl or a lady. It's both ways. Kissing is like clapping. You need both hands to, to, to clap. To clap. And all right? bring to, out that sound. Exactly. So you kiss and be kissed. So there are a lot uh, there are some remedies for ladies who do or who do not enjoy kissing. Mm. It behoves we'll back to that remedy. Right. Hi, good evening. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Hey, my name is where you calling from? Um, I'm Wasila calling from Tamale. Okay, thanks for calling. Uh, yeah. Ladies, about the kissing. I am not a married woman, but if I to married, my husband introduced me to kissing. Okay. Now, I am used to kissing, and he really doesn't 
kiss me anymore. Barely does he kiss. Anytime you're trying to draw this, uh, he's trying to draw with a skill that it tears him up. You mm. understand? Okay. So what am I going to do? Because I am not used to that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sly will do what to answer that for you. <laughs> Okay. okay, um Mr. Producer, if I am um, if I can go ahead and answer the question over. Okay. okay, hi, good evening. Yes. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah. My name is Ben and I'm calling from Santa Ponsita. Okay, thanks for calling. Can you go ahead? All right, um what I would say. Um there are I'm also ladies uh, when it comes to kissing. Um, um, one uh, group of people are doing it. Instead of them to also give you a chance to be, you see that they will not do so. So when it happens this way, you see that the guy, um, you, that, um, you can't get uh, your time to do it very well. I'm also seeing this. When it comes to kissing, the girl. Um, uh, so the lady should also give us the chance so that we can also beat and then we can also continue it again. That is what I want to say. All right. Thank you very much for calling. Okay. Sly, you've introduced me to kissing. Yeah. And then after we've we've gotten married and everything, you yeah. tell me that when I kiss you, it turns you off. What do you expect me to do? Um, what I will advise the lady is um, you should test her breath. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of ladies, when they get married, they change. No, okay. it's in a, in not in a, uh, a bad, bad way, way but uh, then they think, okay, I'm in a room with you, right. so uh, the certain things I've been doing, I'll stop doing it. Like what? Like, um, you know, somebody can stay the whole day, not even brush at it. Some do. Okay. I wouldn't say everyone, but I'm saying that some do. Mm -hmm. So maybe she should check, you know, there's something the lady is doing. The little things pushes them off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, please stay on the words. Hi, good evening. Hello. Yes, hello, good evening. It's fine, even. Your name and where are you calling from, please? Police, my name is Isaac. I'm from Utsa. You're calling from? Utsa. Okay, thanks for calling. Uh, why, why is it that who will not allow that they are good? Please come again. I want to know why some ladies that are to Um, I can hardly hear you. What I'm saying. Hello? Um, yeah, I'm listening. Please, I'm, I'm saying that. Hello? Yeah, hello, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm asking that some ladies will not allow you that. Okay. I want to. I want. To. So if I'm getting you right, you're saying that some ladies do not want you to touch them. Great. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Your name and where are you calling from? I'm from uh Asi. Okay, thanks for calling. Uh, my name is Maxwell. Max, thanks for calling. Share with us quickly. Yeah. You know, it's true. The program you have, um, yeah, your program, I like and join it a lot. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. Uh, but uh, really, some of the ladies have problems. Okay. Uh -huh. And the problem is that some of the ladies immediately you marry them, they feel they are the comfort zone. Okay. Uh huh. So therefore, they feel reluctant to do certain things they used to do. Like what? The relationship. Like what? One is even the way they even dress. Mm. And the way they even dress before they come to bed, or sometimes the way they handle issues at home, immediately they marry, they don't do it anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. Sometimes the beat they even wear, 
sometimes the night teas and other stuff, the perfumes around they use and other stuff. Uh, they feel they will not do it again because so long as they are married, they refuse doing all these things. Okay, we do want to talk to them, and we hope that we all will change as women or as leaders. Thank you very much. Uh, but that will be the end of our call session. I think, uh, fine. Uh oh, okay. okay. So I'll be my last call line. That'll be it. Hi, good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening. Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening. Hello. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, your name and where you calling from, please. Lisa Mabina calling from Winneba. Okay, now thanks for calling. Um, please, my problem is that I love kissing. Okay. But then, every time he comes close, he puts me off because I, I hate the fact that uh, I'll feel saliva all over me. But he also doesn't seem to uh, hold his saliva. So anytime he comes close, he puts me off. Okay. I intend having a dry kiss, but then I don't get it. And so anytime he comes close, he just puts me off, and then the mood is somewhere. Please help me. All right. Thank you very much. We do want to help you. All right. So that's it for our call session. We are just going to take um, final words on all the callers that called and then their problems and then call it a night. Sly, let me come back to you. Dry kissing and wet kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Which one should we go for? Dry. The dry one. Yes. And you should try as much as possible to keep sure. it dry. You need to control yourself. Okay. You know, upon all the love and everything you are saying, remember she's your partner. Okay. You need to respect her. Okay, so okay. I wouldn't advise anyone to go in for wet. At least the dry one, it's okay. At okay. least so that, at least she she to be fine. I think she really loves to kiss, but because of the wet, she she's not okay. <laughs> she's running away from me. She's running away. So our advice, all men, that we should control. We at least we need to control ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Andrew. Yeah. Now. Dry and wet. Well, it depends on the couple, the situation, the mood, and stuff. Mm -hmm. You need, you know, you need to graduate from the dry to the wet. Okay. All right. Yes. Now, if your question is situated with the lady's question, yes. I would like to chip in something. Yes, it's, it's now, in relation to Yes. That. Now, if the guy is always coming in wet, mm -hmm. this is not the beginning of a relationship. Mm -hmm. You're already in it. into it. So... You need to sit down and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Communication is very important in any relationship. Sure. You need to talk about it. You need, she needs to 